From the outside, it looks almost unremarkable. I love it. I love this car. But the technology tucked inside, called XH or Extreme Hybrid, is revolutionary. The idea is to make it familiar and make it feel good and make it feel ordinary. It's not supposed to be exotic. What's exotic is that owners can, in part, trade this for this. A plug-in hybrid powerful enough to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in about 10 seconds, with the range to run 40 miles on battery power alone. That's enough to get roughly 80% of Americans through their daily routine. So for most people going to the store, running errands, mm -hmm. getting to work, those typical things, you could take this car and it would run on battery all of the time. They'd never burn a drop of gasoline. Wow. After those 40 miles, the car switches to a standard gas-powered engine. The innovation here lies in special energy storage devices, ultra caps, which kick in during acceleration to protect the batteries. Historically, electric cars have been mostly experimental, with limited range and performance. The problem has been developing durable and safe batteries with enough power to run a big machine. All electric vehicles were plagued by the same problem, which was the battery. Ed Furia has ushered this technology from plan to the parkway and says it could signal a wholesale change. If you can go to work, come back, plug it in, get up the next day and do that, every day and not burn a drop of gasoline, everything else follows. They estimate this technology will add an extra $8,500 to the sticker price of any car, but claim it will pay for itself in three to five years when you factor in the gasoline savings. Getting this plug-in hybrid prototype here to a track, operating pretty much like a normal vehicle, has been a process that's taken some 15 years, and it's been a labor of love. For Furio, once a co-founder of Earth Day and EPA official, developing this technology has been a dream. It's almost too exciting to express. And getting behind the wheel, quite emotional. What we're essentially doing is um, engaging in something that could produce massive change. So there's a lot of resistance to that. Furia hopes this technology could eventually help free Americans from pain at the pump and America from its growing dependence on oil. Seth Doan, CBS News, Lawrence, South Carolina.